Hello, this is my review of Kurtzpel, okay? Kurtzpel, I think that's how you say it. Now, this game, at first I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. This is pretty much a fighting game. And before you say, and before you say, oh, it's just another amateur review. Well, it's still better than professional reviews like IGN, okay? Still better than professional reviews like IGN and Game It's Playing. And the reason why is because they're not much different. They just add clips to their thing in a boring commentary person. At least, at least, at least I am not someone without a personality. At least I have a personality. Sure, I don't put a thousand video clips of the game, but... You know what I do have? I, I post anime girls. I post fucking anime girls. So, yeah. This is better than video clips anyway uh, for a game review. So you could go on about how it's just another an uh, amateur... Uh, fuck. There. Amateur game review. But honestly, it's much better. And you, are, you probably just have shit taste if you don't like this video. So fuck that. Like, anyway, so... Let's get on to the review. Kurt Spell is a... Uh, Shitty game, masked as a good game, because it's only good when you're doing PvE, player versus enemy, player versus NPC. But when you're actually doing player versus player, the game automatically goes to shit. The reason for this is because every player is better than me at this game for some goddamn reason. I don't know why. I don't know why every player is better than me at this game, but they just are. I do not... I don't think it's a good thing, because it just turns the game into a... From a it turns the game from an 8 out of 10, no, 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 a 7 out of 10 to an automatic 1 out of 10. And I think it's just, it just, tur after you level up a bit, it just, you just, it just feels pointless because, like, why play a game if you're gonna lose to online players anyway? It just makes no sense, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna make a game, you have to make it so it's good for the player. And obviously, obviously, you have to make it good for me, but they, you're not making it. If, if, if everyone else is beating me at this game, I don't know why everyone is. I'm not stupid or anything, so why is everyone beating me at this game? It's like it's like everyone is straight up god mode, or maybe they're just ha uh, um, cheating. Maybe they're just cheating. Who knows? I don't know. But player versus enemy is fun for a little bit, but then it quickly gets repetitive as all heck. So this game does not really have much much story or anything it's just oh either fight cpu and npc enemies or fight player versus player it's like it's like if call of duty met anime but without the guns but it, and instead it was gun no guns and like instead it was anime swords and uh, i got a discord notification while i was making a video wow anime swords and anime guns but like not regular guns because like you know anime so like they're like anime guns anime swords anime bow and arrows because you know how for some reason they use bow and arrows why do they use bow and arrows i don't know but why would you use bow and arrows when you have guns clearly guns are more powerful than bow and arrows so why the heck are there bow and arrows that's so outdated why is there bow and arrows in this game it makes no sense because you shouldn't add bow and arrows if you're gonna add guns so like is this medieval is this what kind is this medieval is this modern time themed what modern setting i know it's fantasy but like is it like the medieval fantasy why is there guns but why like at the same time, there's guns, but there's also bow and arrows, when clearly bow and arrows are lame, and bow and arrows are inferior, way inferior to guns. So, like, I mean, so why didn't, why not just swords and guns? Why is it gotta be bow and arrows and guns, too? Like, why would you add bow and arrows to a game with guns? That's just stupid. Anyway, as I was going back to my point, this game is really shit, because every player beats me. I cannot win a single match online. It, it, then player versus NPC is just really repetitive, but then I like it's it's like every player beats me I think every player that plays this game has no life no life and they just straight up when they play this game They buy up all the good shit. I did not spend any money in this pay-to-play horse shit Okay, I didn't spend any money on this pay-to-play game and that could be why that could be why I have I'm, I'm unable to beat any player I'd be I get stuck in a stupid combo every freaking five seconds of this freaking game I get stuck in a stupid combo they combo me to death and then after I after I resurrect 
I mean, well, respawn, that's the word. After I respawn, they just kill me again, and like, five seconds later, in like, in like, 10,000 combos, they don't even get let me attack. It's like, clearly pay-to-play game, really shit, there's no point in even playing this game, there's, just feels like a lazy cash grab. Just feels like another Chinese MMO, but except that it's not a regular Grindfest MMO, it's a, it's a hack and slash Grindfest MMO. So yeah, that's my review of this shitty horseshit game of this fucking game. So, Kurt's Pell is a shitty game, please, you don't play it, it's free to play, but you're gonna lose to literally everyone unless you buy a bunch of shitty items on the shitty game. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna go now, please subscribe, bye bye.